at the very beginning of the year, I make a point every day to reach out to three kids and learn something about them and then try to remember that. And I usually go back to my desk and write it down because I'll forget. But then the following week, I'll bring it up into conversation with them. And then they realize, wow, she was listening to me. And then I'll ask for another bit of information. Finding out, okay, what do I have in common with this kid? I know I'm a grown adult, but there's something. Either I have a history as a child, or I've got my own kids who have their personal experiences that can relate to other kids. Just talking, talking about their experiences, talk about my experiences. I get to know them, I get to know their personality, I talk to them a lot. I just am real. I just, you know, I don't, I just let them know I'm a real person. I like to have what I call social time in my classroom, and that's where we all sit and we chat. Um, there are times where you'll walk in and you'll see that we're not really doing anything academic. We're sitting and we're chatting and I'm letting my kids know that they can open up to me. I share my stories with them. If they're having a hard time, maybe they've, they've come in and they're usually happy and cheery and they're sad and moby. You know, what's going on? They don't want to talk. Well, you can always talk to me and I'll, whether I've really had an experience that morning or not, I'll share something that'll try and get them to open up. I share personal stories and things that I've gone through, hard times that I've gone through as a kid. They will thrive hearing stories about, you know, my children or me or my little nugget dog Henry or, you know, and, and I think just trying to connect with them or even like right now with all the books, I went in and asked kids, hey, how many books did you get or what's been your favorite book or like, let me see some of your books, you know, just making that connection that you wouldn't normally make just passing by them in the hallway. It's something that is a process. The moment they walk in your classroom, you don't have them right away. They have to trust you. And so for me, it's really connecting the, to the kids, knowing what they like, knowing what they don't like. And so just trying to relate that in as much as I could and letting them know that I care. And I think that's something you should do with all your kids, not just the ones you struggle with.